Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is John. Today what we're going to do is we're going to cook an amazing ribeye steak with a nice board dressing over the fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to season up the steak. And this is the steak right here. Beautiful grass-fed beef. So this steak has nice marble going through just here. It's on the bone. It's about 800 grams and it has a nice layer of fat on the outside. The best thing to do when you're cooking a piece of meat like this is just giving it the absolute most respect that you can give it. The farmers have put so much time into raising these animals to the amazing, wonderful butchers um, and their craftsmanship on delivering it to us. I'm gonna leave it right in here. Here I have some mold and sea salt. Mold and sea salt is based in Essex and it's an, an amazing sea salt um, and probably one of my favorite. So you're just gonna rub it in nicely, coat both sides. And you want to give it a nice hefty amount of sea salt because when you're cooking it it's going to fall off a little bit as well what i normally do is leave the pepper to after because the pepper normally burns as well when you put it onto the grill and also what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little drizzle of olive oil on top just a little bit like that now look at that so that meat right there is just a little bit of salt rub it up lots of love lots of respect to the meat to the butchers and that is the meat just before it goes onto the grill the main thing when you're cooking a large piece of this of meat like this is patience so i'm just gonna lay it on right here so you can hear it sizzle nicely so when the meat is on like that you just leave it and you sear it on one side first nicely and you turn it with the bone. So you don't grab it where the meat is here because you damage the meat and the eye of the ribeye as well. You grab it by the bone and you just turn it and you sear off that side. Every time you turn it, you baste it. And what I've done here is I've just made a little bit of um, butter inside here and I added a little bit of beef fat in there as well. So it's just a little bit more fancier and it's more flavor too. Uh, use rosemary and thyme it's really good it's a hard herb so when it sits in the butter it doesn't go soft um, and when this is in there it is soaking up all the flavor so you, if only you could smell that it's cooking now and it's searing off on one side um, nice and carefully you just use your tongs and where the bone is just here just right here you go in and you move it and if you turn it like this there you go, look at that beautiful caramelization on one side of the meat. Now what you need to do with that before it tends to dry out is you just get a little bit of this beautiful butter and beef fat and you rub it on top. Look at that shine right there. So it's all about developing that meat. It's all about building the layers of the flavor on the meat and turning it and basting it every single time. When you baste it, it's the little bit of butter and the hairbrush. So while the steak is cooking, I just put the lid on top. So it kind of keeps that like oven effect and it keeps all the temperature inside as well. So I'm gonna turn and baste that with the butter all the time and remove the lid. So what we're gonna do next is when the meat comes off, you need to dress it up. And we're gonna use a little bit of parsley and coriander. This is called a board dressing. So it's nice and simple using a sharp knife. Just chop it all up. What we need to do next is to have a little bit of acidity. So just use some lemon juice, squeeze it on top, minus the seeds. Or you can strain that lemon juice off with a little rasp or a zester. Just zest off a little bit of that beautiful citrus zest on there and toss that right in there. Finish it off with a little splash of white wine vinegar. So just a little bit on top and that adds a nice um, balance to the dressing as well. And since it's a board dressing, it's made on the board, you just douse it with beautiful olive oil. So you just go like that. Now with this, we will just season it up a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And we're gonna keep this. So when the meat is ready, we're gonna take the meat right off and we're gonna put it right in there and mix it all up you will see that the steak 
is looking pretty good now. So I'm just gonna turn it just a little bit here onto the cooler side and I'm gonna rub a little bit of this butter on top with the board. Just like that and that is developing absolutely beautiful now. So it's all about working that meat. Even if you have to hold it there just to sear the outside of that meat really nicely as well, that is just exactly what you need. Now, that smoke smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there you go, check that out. Look at that meat, the color. It is soft, it is juicy. Just wanna get a close up on it. And there it is, right there, look. Lick a bit of that butter on top. Absolutely beautiful. So what we're gonna do is just be careful and just move it around here. When it comes off, check that out, look. That is just amazing. So you just turn and you leave it sit there just for a little bit longer. So there we have it. We got the beautiful ribeye that has just come off the grill. It has been rested for about two to three minutes. Nice and steady. Let the muscles relax. Let it develop all the beautiful flavors and keep all that wonderful juice inside. And we're gonna cut it up. And it's important that you cut off the bone and around the eye and you cut against the grain. So when you eat it, it just melts in your mouth. So just here, what we do is we get a sharp knife and you just cut it right off the bone like that. Now that little bone is just beautiful. Keep all that juice, because that is gonna be our dressing just after. Just the eye around here, just cut it off like that. Any excess fat, we can trim it. Now you can eat that, you can put it on toast if you want. You can just pop it into the butter just there, and that is just gonna be one. If you just slice right here, you're gonna go against the grain. The grain is going this way. If you slice this way, look at that. Check that out. That is just beautiful. So we just slice it up like this. I'm gonna pop that little bit here to render that fat off. Nice and slowly there. We're just gonna turn it here and then slice. Check that out, look. Now that is what gets me excited. Here, I'm just gonna give it one more toss. And last but not least, you just give it a little sprinkle of that mold and sea salt on top. Toss that little bone in there as well. Just put it up like that. And there you have it. That is a grilled ribeye steak. Just right there with a nice simple board dressing and some mold and sea salt. So hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did cooking this wonderful ribeye steak. If you did enjoy the video, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so you can see when we upload new videos like this. Do take care, go outside, cook, have fun, enjoy and absolutely love it. I'm off right now to eat this beautiful steak. Have fun and enjoy. Thank you.